Affinity Publisher allows you to download and install language-specific spelling and hyphenation dictionaries. Installation on Mac and Windows differs slightly, so to begin, I'll show you how to download and install a hyphenation dictionary on Mac. We have here a document that contains text frames that use Cheshtina text with hyphenation enabled. For example, this text frame here is currently using Publisher's automatic hyphenation dictionary. The default hyphenation has been modeled using the English language. As this text frame contains Cheshtina text, it will cause the hyphenation breaks to occur in grammatically incorrect places. Installing an alternative dictionary will rectify this issue. So to begin, we'll navigate to the GitHub repository by following a link listed in our help section. So we'll go to help, Affinity Publisher 2 help, we'll select text, editing, hyphenation, and we'll scroll to the bottom of the hyphenation section. We'll then select installing hyphenation dictionaries. And I'll select the link taking us to the LibreOffice's GitHub page. The link will open a web page containing all of the dictionary files available for me to download. So I'll click the green code button and from the options listed below, I'll select download zip. Once downloaded, I'll go to my finder and locate the folder containing the language I want to install. In this case, I'm looking for the Czech or Cheshtina folder. The folders are named using two letter country codes. So I'm looking for either CS or CZ. I'll click into the folder and locate the hyph underscore CS underscore CZ dictionary file. I'll select the file, right click and choose copy. We're now going to add that file into the Mac OS user library folder. I'll go to go, then holding down the option key, select library. We'll then locate the spelling folder and we'll right click and create a new subfolder. And I want to rename this folder to match the language or locale ID. So in my case, looking back at our original file, I can see that the check dictionary file is labeled as lowercase cs underscore capital CZ. We can then simply click into the file, right click and paste our hyphenation dictionary file that we copied earlier. We can now go back to Publisher and close down the application, making sure the program has completely been shut down by clicking on the app title menu and choosing quit. Now fully closed, we can reopen Publisher and our check document. We can then select the text frame containing the text we want to adjust, then go to our character panel and under the language tab, we can change the hyphenation from auto to Cheshtina Chesco. The hyphenation has now changed, correcting the grammatical inaccuracies we saw earlier. Similar to installing a hyphenation dictionary, we can also install an alternative spelling dictionary in a different language. With my text frame selected and toggling off my preview mode, we can see that the text frame is underlined red, indicating incorrect spelling. If again we consult our character panel's language section, we can see under the language tab, it's currently set to English United Kingdom. Publisher has several pre-installed spelling dictionaries in a range of languages, which we could select here, but instead we could choose to install an alternative language dictionary. So we can once again close down Publisher, making sure that the program has been completely shut down. We'll also take this opportunity to save our file. We can then go back to our downloads and once again locate our CS underscore CZ folder. And this time we can select both the CS underscore CZ dot AFF file as well as the CS underscore CZ dictionary file. We'll select both files, right click and again choose copy. We'll then again locate our spelling folder in our system by going to go, holding option and selecting library. Locate our spelling folder in our system, and this time, instead of pasting the files into the new subfolder, we'll paste the files directly into the spelling folder itself. Now we can once again reopen Publisher and our check document. We can then select the text in our frame, go back to the character panel. And under the language section, I can change the spelling drop down from English United Kingdom to either Cheshtina or Cheshtina Chesco. 
With the preview mode now toggled off, we can see that the text in our frame no longer has the red lines underneath and is being read as spelt correctly. Installing dictionary files on Windows systems works slightly differently. Instead of installing dictionary files into a specific location, you can instead direct publisher to a custom directory if you wish. So I'll navigate to the GitHub repository via the link from help and choose to download the dictionary files by clicking the green code button and choosing download zip. Once downloaded, I'll unzip the file. We'll go to the publisher window and within Affinity Publisher, I'll go to edit and select preferences. I'll then navigate to the tools tab, find the additional dictionary folder option and select browse. Navigate to the extracted directory, find the dictionary's master directory and choose select folder. For publisher to recognize the new dictionary files, I'll then close down and reopen the application. I'll then open the file we've been working on that uses the Czech language. Select the text frame and go to the character panel. Under the language tab, I can change the spelling to Czech. This automatically updates the hyphenation since a matching hyphenation file has been found. You can, of course, override this manually should you wish but for most workflows, this will be unnecessary. And that's how to download, install, and use hyphenation and alternative spelling dictionaries in Affinity Publisher on both Mac and Windows devices. Thank you for watching.